Hi guys, welcome back to another week of phonics. Mrs. Wagner here. And as you can see behind me, we have a brand new spelling pattern, which is actually three different spelling patterns. Now, don't be intimidated by what you see behind me because the good news is they all have the same sound. That could also be bad news if you're not studying because when you hear a word on your spelling test, it's all gonna have the same sound and it's up to you to know which way it's spelled. So again, practice makes perfect. So you need to practice every day your spelling, just like every day you're practicing reading. So as you can see behind me, you have three different spelling patterns. You have a double O, an O-U, and an E-W. And all three of these sounds say, ooh, ooh, ooh. Whether it's O-O, O-U, or E-W, all three this week are gonna say, ooh, okay? And uh, I actually have a great book to illustrate this pattern. But before I get to the book, let's take a look at our words. So the double O. Now the double O could be tricky because double O also has a different sound other than ooh. But this week we're just focusing on ooh. So if you take a look at double O, the words like noon, noon, Zoom, which we're all familiar with Zoom meetings this year. And a really funny word I put up there, poop. Okay, all three of those words say, ooh, ooh. Okay, so that's your double O. These are just examples. In the middle, you also have an O-U, like the words you, or soup, or group. Every single one of those O-U words, I heard ooh, ooh, just like I heard in the O-O. So if I'm closing my eyes and I'm hearing these words, they should all have that ooh sound. And your last pattern is EW, which like the double O, it also has another sound, but this week we're just focusing on ooh, like the word blue. Now this is not like the color blue as you can tell by the spelling, but this is like I blew bubbles or the wind blew the leaves, okay? Then the next word we have is do. Not like I'm gonna do something, but like do that grows on the ground, um, that comes from the ground in the morning on the blades of grass, or if you're a pop drinker, like Mountain Dew. And then the last word is new. And again, if I'm closing my eyes and listening to all these words, blue, do, and um, new, I hear ooh in all three patterns. Now I have a fun story for you guys, bonus here that I have a story that's gonna illustrate your ooh pattern um, perfectly. And I think you guys are gonna like the story because it is one of your spelling words I put up on the board, poop. Okay, so in the book it's gonna say ooh. I hope you guys get some giggles out of this because I love reading this book. It's such a silly book and it's called Everyone Poops. So I love reading this story when I teach this spelling pattern because it is, funny and it's also true and it really demonstrates the ooh sound in every page okay so it's a funny story so don't be afraid to have some giggles i might giggle as i'm reading it we are gonna hear ooh 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 just like one of your spelling patterns so here we go an elephant makes a big poop a mouse makes a tiny poop <laughs> I don't know why poop is so funny to everybody. A one hump camel makes a one hump poop and a two hump camel makes a two hump poop. Only kidding. <laughs> There's no such thing as a two hump poop. Here's fish poop and so do birds and bugs too. So you can see all the different ways that animals poop and all the different styles. <laughs> different animals make different kinds of poop. Different shapes, different colors, and even different smells. So take a look at all that animal poop. <laughs> Told you this is a good book, but it demonstrates this double O ooh sound perfectly. Which end is the snake's behind? So where does that snake poop? What does whale poop look like? Well, he really looks like he's pushing one out. <laughs> Some stop to poop, others do it on the move. So they poop as they're walking, they just let it go. 
some poop here and there, like this bunny is happening, leaving poop everywhere. Others do it in a special place. Like us, we run to the bathroom. As you can see, this boy really had to go. His undies are coming off as he's taking a poop. <laughs> Grown-ups poop. Children poop too. While some children poop on the potty, others poop in their diapers. So I have one that poops in the potty. I'm trying to get the other one to poop in the potty. And then I have another one who poops in her diaper. Some animals poop and pay no attention. Others clean up after themselves. It's like this, what is this? Looks like an armadillo is cleaning up his poop. I know a lot of you guys at home have cats, so they poop in their litter box and they kind of cover it up to clean up. And then you guys have to clean that up too. These poop by the water. This one does it in the water. He wipes himself with paper, then flushes it down. As you can see, there goes his poo poo. All living things eat, so everyone poops. <laughs> and the last page is just different kinds of poop. Okay, so like I said, this is a really fun story because I mean, for some reason, humans think poop is funny. It doesn't matter what age you are. Cute book to demonstrate your spelling pattern, whether it's a double O, an O, U, or an E, W, that's all going to say ooh, 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 like in the word poop, group, and new.